When I first began the sport, I had to hide the sport from my family simply because I was afraid that they might ask me to choose between uh, family values and the sport. It was unheard of an Asian girl going into a combat sport, um, especially one that is so brutal. I kept it hidden for around five years. Um, I would train religiously every Sunday. I would wake up extra early on a Sunday morning do the house chores, make sure my mum is happy, and then ask her very politely if I can attend the gym. She just thought I was going for a run or just doing a little bit of aerobics. I eventually decided to tell my parents exactly what I was doing. Um, this was due to the fact that I felt as though I was living a double life, one where I was a fighter in the ring, and, and on the other hand, I was a traditional daughter. Um, so I went through an arranged marriage and that actually collapsed. Um, and at that point, I felt as though I needed my parents' blessing in terms of moving forward with the sport. I guess I'm not the most conventional fighter that you would come across because A, I'm a female, I'm petite, I'm Muslim, I'm Asian, all of the things that you wouldn't traditionally see as a fighter. On the other hand, I'm a fierce fighter who steps into the ring and I leave nothing in the ring. I give it my all and I believe that life is all about fighting through challenges and that's what I do in the ring and outside the ring. Initially when I first started it was incredibly difficult to find a gym that catered for um, a female only class, female only coaches been dressed in a traditional manner, it was very difficult. However, we have come a long way and we can see that brands are now using sisters with hijabs and it's, it's very trendy. Um, and accommodating people's faith and their identity is really important to have an equal playing field within sports. Um, so we can have the best of the best.